we're actually getting a little tired. Yes, sir. Governor, could you tell us what is in this budget for water quality and specifically the Lake Erie algae? There are algae uh, provisions in here. Where is Wayne? <coughs> Wayne, you want to step up and talk about? Sure. Uh, first thing we do is we... Wayne, you want to come on up here and talk? Yeah, there is a uh, there is a fact sheet on that. We have a number of proposals. First of all, we would like to institute a prohibition of applying uh, manure and uh, commercial applications on frozen ground. Now we provide four off ramps, if, if you will. So if you have cover crops, if you are tilling, if you use injection methods. It's okay, but otherwise on frozen ground, as well as ground that's rain soaked, we would pro uh, prohibit application. Second of all, we would like to, over a five year period, completely eliminate open lake dredging and uh, open lake disposal. And so what we'd like to do is we'd like to go to a reuse proposal. Uh, especially in Toledo. We think that the dredge material, rather than being put back into the lake, uh, we believe that that should be used for other purposes. Other states have done this. We would like to model this, and we think we can do it in, in five years. Uh, the other major item that we have is that a number of the wastewater treatment systems right now do not monitor for phosphorus. Many do, many do not. And we would like to take those that do not currently monitor for phosphorus and have those begin to monitor. So what we've done is we've tried to take a comprehensive approach, looking at all of the major sources of phosphorus into the lake and uh, deal with those individually. We also have, we also have been working with the, the uh, federal government. And you know, we fully expect that there will be more money coming from the federal government in terms of cover crops, in terms of um, storage facilities, uh, and in terms of other septic systems. Uh, we started that. We started. We, we started that. And one of the what we did was we went through. We looked at uh, major sources and we broke them down into various areas. And septic systems is a is a problem in in certain in certain regions out there. So we're going to deal with um, with each of, each of these individually to you know to address the major sources of phosphorus. Okay. And so when you think about it, we we've spent I don't know about a billion dollars on on the lake. Why don't you stay here, Wayne? And then you know when you talk about 100% failure rate on septic systems, it's not just farmers. It's septic systems. It's wastewater treatment. It's it's there are things that come from the uh, from the basin itself, the problems that we have with the with what's dumped into the lake from Detroit, uh, from places in Canada, we've given consideration to having a meeting with all the the usual suspects to talk about this in a comprehensive way. But this has been an ongoing process, and uh, we're just going to keep at it. And remember, though, uh, even though people say the water turns over, the stuff that's at the bottom of the lake doesn't turn over. So. Part of what we what we um, part of what we reap is is what we sowed earlier, and so is the lake getting healthier? I think that it is getting healthier, but it's a long way back. You know, as I've told people, you smoke cigarettes. I used to smoke cigarettes. I asked somebody, how long a doctor? How long will it take my lungs to be clear? They said, oh, not a long time, 24, 25 years. And so you don't clean a lake up overnight, but all efforts and are being put into trying to deal with those major areas. It won't get fixed in a day, but, but we're on it in an aggressive way. 